Hello. Hello. It's, hello. It's Gab and Dad. We've just come from seeing Prometheus, uh, this summer's sci-fi blockbuster. Well, it's, not yet. Well, predicted to be. <laughs> it's about space. Uh, or it's set in space. It's also yeah. about space. Would you like to elaborate? Prometheus obviously is the unofficial uh, prequel to the Alien, uh, the famed Alien trilogy and return um, of uh, the originator Ridley Scott. So there's a lot of hoopla for the genre. Uh, this is a, a big deal um, uh, to be brought back to the supposedly to the Alien uh, universe. But it's an or an origin story of the human species. Um, yes. some Where did we come from and why? That suggest and what are we supposed to be here to do? We've what? Come we're here to, to uh, review, so let's get right and into it. And what's going to happen to the Eurozone? I, I don't know. What did you think? And uh, let, let's try to discuss it not so much as an alien prequel, because yeah, for because one it thing, wasn't really. that's complicated. Well, it is and it isn't. That's been discussed in other forums um, much better than we can, particularly because you're not a fan of the alien film. Uh, not particularly. Uh, well, what, what do I think of this film? So what do you think Prometheus? of this Well, it's not bad. It's mildly entertaining. I, you know, I sat there for two hours plus, whatever it was. And other than your bathroom break. You always have to mention that. You know, <laughs> well, you missed the best line. He missed the line where someone says, we all want our parents to die. Right <laughs> we, I, we don't want all yeah. want our parents to die. Um, you know, it was fairly entertaining. I, I found the plot a little simplistic. There was nothing in it that was particularly interesting or you know particularly surprising. There's some great themes that are sort of well, hanging over Well, there's big, big this. themes like, you know, where do we come but from? The Is there a God? That didn't kind of quite, stuff. Like, didn't rise to the themes. Rise to the, and that's an interesting criticism because a lot of the criticism so far is that the plot was messy no, or wrong. convoluted or had holes. Wrong. And we actually both disagreed with that. We thought, if wrong. anything, it was a bit too basic. Effect. Yeah, I, think, I agree with that. Um, so I don't really have a great deal to say about it. There were some kind of rather stereotypical things in this film. You know, the crew of the Prometheus is your usual ragtag band of people. One black. Uh, one yeah. black guy, you know, one guy with a kind of scrappy beard and one, from, one guy from Scotland, you know. And it reminded me... A <laughs> there's little, always a guy, from, always a guy from Scotland. Hanging around. And it reminded me a little bit of Grey, or was it Mr. Grey? The Grey. Or The Grey with Liam Neeson in it, you know. When when oh, all these guys, all these guys get picked off one by one by giant wolves, except in this case it's not giant wolves, it's giant aliens. Well, but that's could typical be, of the horror. Yeah, it could be alien wolves or wolves. Uh, so there's a certain, there's a certain hey, you've seen this before. You kind need of, the body count for sure. But, uh, but did you find it gory? Dad's a little bit sensitive with the gore. I don't mind it as much. But uh, would you no, think of you it? know, maybe I'm just getting blasé. So many movies are gory now, particularly with CGI um, uh, effects. No, I didn't find it terribly bo uh, gory. No, I, I mean, wouldn't take Max though. It's it's uh, rated 18A in Canada. I didn't even which find it particularly like our... scary, actually. I did find actually Alien, the original well, Alien, scary. Well, that sort of set the bar, that yeah, film. But I didn't find this really film. set the standard. Yeah, it's I hard didn't... to get shocked these days, but there's a lot of sort of the typical alien type of gore, splatter gore, if I can put it that way. And one scene in particular that was qu quite cringe inducing, I, I don't want to have a spoiler, but especially maybe if you're a woman or a mother, there was a sort of a, a, a medical scene. Well, that's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> medical. Um, so there's definitely the sort of the E factor and definitely not kid friendly. But you mm. mentioned effects. I mean, what did you think about the, the as you say, the CGI? we saw it in 3D I really liked the world 3D. that was rendered I, I thought it was that. a very believable um, planetary world and the spaceship world I really liked the the ambience um, yeah. the 3D brought me in yeah. uh, very nice uh, good CGI I think, work I think, in, I think in balance I mean you know it's not a bad film it's mildly it's nice entertaining yeah, if you're going to see it go to the theater yeah, it's not a rental because it needs that big screen for need, space yeah. thing because it's in space and the sound and the, sound. So and the score you yeah. want the big sound but I wouldn't rush to see it the big fast bender yeah the big fast bender I wouldn't rush to see it I mean if you've got nothing to do one afternoon you know you're just sitting around it's raining and there's nothing good on television if you're going to see this film um, you're going to see it I mean it's one of the um, you know handful of significant films this summer uh, for better or for worse and yeah. you guys are going to see it so that's just our two yeah. cents I was kind of surprised at how few people there were in the movie theater but I guess most people were at home watching the men's semi-final of the Paris Open tennis tournament. Or at work, or at school. We're practically, you know, we, we have excuses why we're not working right anyway, now. But uh, three, three and a half it's going to be big, and so I know that you need to know what we think yeah. of it. Three and a half does. Three and a half does. Three and three quarter gabs. That's Prometheus. Um, and uh, that's... Uh, Do you know, I can never see Charlize Theron without remembering that. It wasn't her father mur murdered her mother, or was it a mur her mother? Her mother murdered, murdered her, her father. father. That is so irrelevant. I might as well talk about Michael Fassbender's penis if we're going to go well, off on tangents. I mean, that's less of a tangent. <laughs> he was Goodbye. great. I liked him. Goodbye, the folks. The acting was me. Yeah. But uh, overall, 
interesting, no, not an epic by a long shot. No. Goodbye. But we are. Thanks for watching. <laughs>